Here's a list of the fastest 1500 meter athletes in the world since the Tokyo Olympics in 2021. Up front setting a very unchallenged standard is Jakob Ingebrigtsen from Norway, who sits atop this list with his 2023 European record in 3 minutes 27.14 seconds. Following behind Jakob is none other than Mo Katir from Spain with his 328.89, and following behind him is Timothy Chariot in 329.01. Following behind these top three is Yard Nagus from the United States, from the 2023 Bislett Games. And then behind these top athletes is none other than Josh Kerr from Great Britain with his 329.05 from the Tokyo Olympic Finals. This chart really does depict a very strong and unchallenged Jakob Ingebrigtsen, and this has been the case over the previous three years. But despite his consistency throughout the early 2020s and his elite performances on the all-time list, he still has yet to win a world championship in this discipline. Despite his savvy racing abilities, his incredible rise through the ranks, and his non-stop attitude in racing interviews, Jake Whiteman and Josh Kerr managed to outrace Jakob in the 2022 and 2023 World Finals. For two consecutive years, Jakob really was the favorite going into these World Championships. However, he was outkicked over the final 200 by these two athletes from Scotland. With this double silver medal, Jakob found himself in an unfamiliar and very undesirable position, second. And after these two defeats, Josh Kerr came out with some heavy words for Jakob Ingebrigtsen. For reasons that are not entirely familiar to me, Josh Kerr and Jakob just don't like each other that much. And honestly, the world is very familiar with this at this point. After the 2023 season finally came to a close, the conversation around Jakob and Josh Kerr's rivalry continued to blossom throughout the later months, and Josh Kerr had some very key words to say on this matter. But no, but I don't think he will, because uh, the ego is pretty high on this one. But and I was like, oh, you have, you have no idea. Like you're just you're, you're you know you've won so many races, you've ran fantastic all season that you're just on this. You must be surrounded by so many yes men that you don't realize that you have weaknesses. Call it confidence, call it mind games, call it whatever you want. Kerr's words hit the internet and caused quite a stir among track and field enthusiasts. And even though he has pretty much been silent for the previous couple of months. We finally have a response from Jakob. When asked about Josh Kerr in his recent interviews, Ingebrigtsen said, I try to shield myself and use as little energy on other things as possible. I haven't spent many calories on that. It is very clear. I am a person who drives a, call it, occasionally a relentless and uncompromising commitment to trying to be as good as I can and the best in the world in my sport. When there is focus, there are a number of other things that one must choose not to spend energy on. Maybe not everyone is as good there. Now, he was also asked specifically about the recent comments from Josh Kerr, pointing out that Jakob Ingebrigtsen has bad manners, to which Jakob replied, I haven't been to dinner with him, so maybe it's how I hold the cutlery? I do not know. Yes, the relationship I have had with him has been very evasive. As competitors, it can be difficult to have a normal relationship. It is very individual. You can't be best friends with everyone. I have a good relationship with many runners with whom I compete, some not. I expect that we all try to do our best, and then you have to be able to respect each other for precisely those reasons, even if you don't have exactly the same values. Now, this article goes into great depth on Ingebrigtsen's mental space and how he's progressing forward into this Olympic cycle. However, the primary nature of this article is actually not about Josh Kerr. It's actually surrounding Jakob's recent injury that has left him quite the distance from his typical preparations. For the previous four months, the training of Jakob has been very much affected by an Achilles tendon injury. On his right foot, swelling has caused Jakob to seek out new training methods away from his typical running, and instead of running on trails or on the track, he has been running on the elliptical as of recent, which is certainly not his favorite thing to do. Now, I'll make sure to leave a link to this article down below in the description, because it's quite a good read on his recent training, but seeing how Jakob is battling against injury while taking aim at the 2024 Paris Olympics is honestly quite the motivating perspective. In the history of the men's 1500 meters, there have been many legends to take the gold medal at the Olympic Games. However, only one athlete has ever taken two Olympic golds. In fact, why don't you take a guess at who that athlete is? Go ahead, I'll give you guys a few moments. Well, if you chose Sebastian Coe from Great Britain, you would be correct. In both 1980 and 1984, Seb Coe achieved what no other athlete has ever done, two gold medals in the 1500 finals and the Olympic Games. 
In 1980, Ko used his ever-powerful kick to take down Jürgen Strop from East Germany, and then four years later, he did the exact same thing, taking down his countryman Steve Cram with a super-fast Final 100 to finish this race in 332.53, which at the time was a new Olympic record by more than two entire seconds. And this Olympic record has now been improved upon by four entire seconds by none other than Jakob Ingebrigtsen. Taking two consecutive gold medals in the 1500 meters is certainly one of the most challenging asks in the running world, because not only do you need to stay on top of the world rankings list for four straight years, but you need to implement and successfully execute a proper racing plan against the world's best athletes, who are all running all out on the biggest stage. And this task is exactly what is at stake in 2024. If Jakob can in fact repeat as the Olympic champion, he will become one of only two men to ever achieve this double. But the middle distance contingent waiting to etch their name into history is ever growing on the world scene, and they are all taking aim at Jakob Ingebrigtsen. In addition to the previous two world champions in Josh Kerr and Jake Whiteman, the 2024 Olympic Finals will also include a heavy list of rising stars and also seasoned veterans. There's Yara Nagus from the United States, a rapidly improving and quite frankly dangerous runner who ended his season in 2023 with a 343 mile. There's Timothy Chariot from Kenya, the 2019 world champion in this distance and fellow 328-1500 runner. There's also Mo Katir, another 328-1500 athlete who's already run a 351 indoor mile in 2024. And then we have many familiar names, such as Abel Kipsang, Mario Garcia Romo, Cole Hawker, and the ever-dangerous Norwegian and 2023 bronze medalist, Narvi Nuros, whose rise in the ranks has been meteoric. Right now, Jakob is battling both mind games and injury at the beginning stages of this Olympic season. However, it is also important to mention that his confidence still has not wavered. When asked about his chances moving into the Paris Games, Ingebrigtsen stated that it is very important to try and analyze what you have done and what you have been through, and to see what you can perhaps do differently. I'm a big fan of that. My goal is to be too fast for everyone else so I can basically do whatever I want. I plan to win the Paris Olympic Games. Confidence has certainly never been in short supply for this 23-year-old Norwegian. However, the exact same thing can certainly be stated about Josh Kerr, because even from the beginning stages of this video to now, he has already dropped another very direct interview where he stated that I just hope Jakob is ready to go. My job is to go out and win a gold medal, and I believe that I will. And when it does happen, I want all of my competitors to say, you know what, he was better than us today. It has certainly been a wild and rather wacky ride for the previous couple of months, and now that Jakob Ingebrigtsen has finally responded, he has certainly taken a rather diplomatic approach to this rivalry. But anything could happen on race day. And with that in mind, I'll pass this final question off to all of you. What do you think will ultimately happen in the Paris Olympic Games in the men's 1500 finals? Will Jakob Ingebrigtsen come out on top and repeat as the 1500 champion? Will Josh Kerr defend his global title and take his first Olympic gold? Or will someone new come to the table and take first place, such as Yard Nagus, Narva Nuros, or perhaps Timothy Chariot. Leave your thoughts in the comments section down below. Thanks for watching, everyone, and as always, until next time.